So this question is about uh, veganism, vegetarianism, etc. And uh, eating meat is not an obligation. Okay, so there's no obligation that we have to eat meat or we have to eat chicken, etc. And as a matter of fact, a lot of the uh, protein that we consume, a lot of the meat specifically, and also chicken that we consume is not necessarily healthy, it's full of hormones, uh, some of it's genetically modified. Uh, that's not good. So Allah Ta'ala tells us in the Qur'an that we have to eat halal and tayyibah. We have to eat food that's halal, that meets the legal requirement, but it also has to be tayyib. It also has to be good and pure. Sometimes we eat food that's halal, but it's nasty. Uh, it's not good and pure. So th- th- that's not what Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala wants from us. So this is where the idea of uh, eating you know, certain types of food only, in this case, whether it's vegan or, or vegetarianism, a vegetarian diet uh, come, comes into play, that it's more healthy. If that's in fact the case. Now, I'm not an expert in nutrition, you know, so I can't advise on the details of it. But definitely we could do a lot for ourselves by eating less meat and, and chicken. Um, however, if somebody were to say, to criticize a Muslim for eating meat or chicken, that would be crossing the line. Because uh, while... I just said that the food has to be good and pure and all of that. That's not the only criteria. The, the criteria really is the legal criteria because Islam uh, is about a quarter of the world's population. Uh, there are people from all walks of life, people that are very poor, needy, uh, and they only have access to what they have access to. So we can't you know, criticize them for doing what they're doing uh, unless and until we provide a healthy alternative for them. So if in your own life, in your own practice, I want to stay away from meat and chicken, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing haram with that. But don't, get, don't adopt the mindset that uh, if you eat meat and chicken, somehow you're evil. Okay, because this is something that Allah has made permissible. But that being said, we can definitely eat a lot less of it. And look, there are many people, uh, poor, poor people from our community around the world, that they only eat meat or chicken once or twice a year. Anyway, really just during the Eid. Um, so, I mean, they're pretty much eating a vegetarian-based diet for the entire year, except for one or two days or maybe just one week out of, out of, the, out of the year. And most likely, that's sort of how the Salaf probably ate as well, maybe a little bit more uh, frequently, but they did not eat you know, meat and chicken every single meal of the day, every single day of the week, etc. So there's a lot to be said about the way we eat and things like that. But specifically to return to the question, there's nothing wrong if that's the type of diet that you want to uh, adopt. As long as you're not harming your body, uh, oftentimes people that, that eat like that intensely, they need to take supplements. So you need to consult with somebody, a health professional that can advise you on the best way to, to do that. Wallahu ta'ala a'ala wa'alam.